Welcome back, Rack Pack. Rackamdar here, bringing you another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Today, we will be uh, continuing our campaign playthrough uh, as we continue the seal of Oikaukos arc. In the last couple of episodes, we used Kaiba to defeat... don't remember his name, and then we also fought Mai with Joey. Uh, this guy got crushed, and now we are going to be fighting... Uh, this other guy with Joey as, um, this was a big, honestly in the anime, this is a pretty big Joey arc. Uh, he did a lot of dueling in this one, uh, for the sake of Mai, so that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, but yeah, we only have a couple of more duels left. I, I think it's gonna go through the Seal of Orikalkos, finish it up here, and then we get to fight, uh, Yami. It's not even gonna go through the, kind of, last arc. I guess that makes sense, because the last arc of the series was more of a tabletop game as opposed to like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Bakura like brought Yami uh, over and everything. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be playing the rest of this campaign. Hopefully we can get two duels in for this video. Um, once again, this is happening live on Twitch. So say hi to, hi, say hi to stream in Twitch chat. Um, and if you want to watch any of these live, of course, go check out twitch.tv slash um, We've been doing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Um, I do dabble in speedruns and... Uh, recently, League of Legends slash Teamfight Tactics. Been getting a lot more into those two uh, two games. Been carrying some friends in Blind Pick, uh, looking to get more be uh, get better at that as well. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to jump, pretty much jump right into it and uh, fight for the friend. Joey chased after one of the robbers, Valan. I know that guy. He's the he's the one that took my right your arm. Ah, that's not the right voice. Ah. It's been a while, or it's, not, it's been a day since I've recorded the voices, man. You, you want to try to keep that momentum whenever I'm trying to make the voices on. Right you are, mate. Look, pal, I want my back. Then why chase me? She happens to have a mind of her own, you know. She did, at least before you guys brainwashed her. You don't get it, mate. No one was brainwashed. Mai chose to join our side with her own free will. And you, do you know one, do you want to know why? She was sick of taking a back seat while you all got the... Well, you got all the fame. Then I stepped in and changed that. You messed with her head. That's what you did. She was one of my best. She was one of my best friends. But the. But that last time I saw her, she was saying things that my would, that my never would have said. Make wake up, Wheeler. I led you down here to get you for good. Cause my won't be happy. Cause my can't be happy with you around. It was like the battle, the love triangle. And what does that mean? You're a constant reminder of what her life used to be, and Mai wants to forget all that. But as long as you still exist in this world, she'll never be able to forget. So I'm here to erase you for good. Plus, I know that deep down, Mai still loves you, and I can't have that. So what do you say, Wheeler? We have ourselves a duel or not? Not that I'm giving you much of a choice. I never back down from a challenge, especially when I'm fighting for a friend. Yeah, they're both just fighting over Mai. We get to play as Yugi or Joey again. Not too bad. Playing as Joey. Uh, rock, paper, scissors, rock. Ooh. I don't know what to expect. We're, we're finally getting some more interesting decks as we go through this, so um, I'm really excited to be able to sh uh, show off more of some of these. Oh, that wasn't too loud. Ooh, we have non stop traps. He gets to go first, terraforming. I'm gonna search the Seal of Orichalcos. Yo, what are these? We actually have some. Top cards, dude. Seal. Dimensional Prison? That's a really good card. Holy crap. We have Red Eye Spirit. Definitely looking for some Red Eyes things. Oh, he's gonna do stuff more. Sen oh, I didn't realize what he was doing. What is he playing? I need to be paying attention to his moves instead of trying to look at my cards. Oh, he's playing Desk Bots? Does that. Was that really? What he played? I don't remember that. Okay, what's this do if. This card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation. You can activate this effect. Your opponent takes no battle damage. And send one Deskbot monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, this card gains attack and defense equal to that level. Wow. Wow, that is really good, actually. I don't know if we have much. Red Eyes Transmigration. This card used to ritual summon Lord of the Red. You must also monsters from your hand. Or field and or banish red eyes mon Yo, this is a really good ritual spell. I think, yeah. 
Okay, add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand, and add one ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Whose name is... This is, yo, this is the, the top tier ritual stuff that we would... That I really have been waiting for dueling. I doubt they'll come to dueling because it makes rituals so consistent. Um, and with 20 cards in our deck, I don't think this will ever come to Duel Links. Dimensional Prism. Or Prism. Dimensional Prism, not Prism. Uh, so yeah, we could get rid of that desk bot for sure. Your opponent cannot target Warrior. Push some level 4 monster from you. What is the 6 cents? Declare 2 numbers. Oh, we've got more dice action. If the result is one of the numbers you declared, you draw that many cards. Oh. I actually, I actually think this is a good card. Because we want stuff in the graveyard, yeah? You draw that many cards. If your results... Yeah, I think we're going to uh, set D Prison. And then end phase six cents. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to D Prison his desk bot. And then we're going to end phase the six cents. Main phase one. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one, one level one monster from your hand or deck. Okay. I think the desk bots have level one. Yeah, desk bot. Uh, and he sent one to the graveyard. Okay, we're just gonna... Oh. Okay. So I need to actually pay attention to this. Uh, let me... So this card gains 500 attack defense for each machine type monster you control. Okay, so this one isn't that in, uh, impactful. We need to get rid of um, this guy because he can do the damage step calculation and gain a ton of attack. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna let him declare a direct attack. And then once he ends his turn, oh my god, man, there's so many, there's so many moments in order to uh, like activate card effects in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's kind of crazy. Yep, end his turn. We're going to do this on the end phase. Uh, and hopefully get some fuel into the graveyard. Two, five. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Four. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, we got rid of Jinzo. That's not good. Claw of Hermos. Oh, do we? Does Red Eye Spirit doesn't have an extra deck, does it? Okay. Rocket Hermos Cannon. Um, target, wait, using a warrior monster, oh, okay, okay, uh, using a dragon monster, okay, let's make sure, so what did we, what did we get rid of, Jinzo, that's kind of unfortunate, rocket warrior, flame vel, guard, wow, he has 2,000 defense, decent, got rid of this guy, that's good, let's see how we got rid of these four. Very unfortunate. I don't think we can actually use um, this because we have to banish Red Eyes monsters from your graveyard, not anything else. Okay. This guy's twelve hundred. Not looking very good. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not really sure. I was really. Claw of Hermos is kind of a bad pickup. If we only had the Jinzo, that'd be nice. Then we're just gonna activate pre-preparation. I guess we have another one, so we search that. And then we can... Lord of Red. I guess we should have thinned out our deck before we uh, activated that card. So yeah, we can't. We need more monsters to tribute. Once per turn during either player's turn, when a card effect's activated, you could target one monster on the field, destroy it during either player's turn when the card effect is activated, except or the red. You can target one spell or trap. Whoa. That's crazy. I could have destroyed this. Or not necessarily. Hmm. What level is this? Level 4. 1500 attack. We can't beat him yet. Very unfortunate. I don't think I think we just have to end our turn here because I I need this I need the captain alive because I need to have the possibility of ritual summoning. Oh, man, he's gonna pick out something with that. Let's 
gonna be rough. Gonna be rough. We we thinned out our deck a little bit. Hopefully we have more monsters to pick from. We use two of our uh, things. Okay, that's gonna give them big be big boy attack. Thirty five hundred. Hopefully we can. All right, there you go. And now. 2,000 defense. He's only level 1. Man. It's a nice amount of defense, though. Is he warrior? He's dragon. Oh, we could've... Okay, we can still activate that with the dragon on the field. We should do this. Yeah, we need to we need to do the sword, I think. I think the play is to go into the sword. Cuz it's 2400 attack. Oh. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Oh, I didn't know it's from my hand. What? Oh, we can okay, we can do this one. We, 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 we want to do that one. We don't want to send the ritual guy. Yeah, get rid of him. Fusion summon. He's level 7. Oh, we could ritual summon too. We could ritual summon. What does this guy do? Is he... I have to equip it to one of my monsters? That's crazy. Okay. Or one of his monsters. No way. Target one other face-up card on the field. Wait. I can't not do that? Is that a required action? Are you kidding me? I think that just lost me in the duel. Because now it's not a monster. Now it's an equip spell. Well, that kind of... That sucked. I think that's it. I think we lose. We just lost the duel from that one. Holy crap. Rest in peace. Oh, well, we got another seal of our calculus. You can only activate one per duel, so that doesn't really matter. But he's gonna win. GG. Joey's soul has been absorbed by the seal of Uri Kalkos. I mean, technically, I th he loses, if I'm not mistaken, so. Alright, hopefully we get... Well, let's not make those crazy misplays. I want to say that I messed up and I accidentally clicked yes, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll, we'll see. Okay, single mode, one round, let's go. Duel number two. Here we go. We got monsters this time, but not... They're not good ones. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. Oh, Gemini. This is a Gemini monster. Damage calculation is performed involving this card at the end of the battle phase. You can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's original attack. Whoa, that was pretty good. Um, Black Flare Dragon. We have Jinzo. I think we just set this boy, big, this big boy, 2,000 defense, and that's going to be it. It's going to be our turn. Joey needs to shuffle his deck, man. This is the second duel in a row that we opened all spell trap or all monsters. We need a mixture, combination. It's a lot of really big monsters too. Very unfortunate. Oh. Wow, he has the a continuous spell too? Are you kidding me? Is he going to be able to do that? He is, dang. Man, that desk bot is so good. Two face downs now, too. All machine type monsters on the field gain 200 attack. Destroyed by battle card effect, plays two joke counters. Oh boy. Dude, he's playing like actual archetype over here. I think we can uh, set this one. And then we'll de-prison to protect it. 
Because I don't unless he has another copy of this card, he's gonna use. I think we're I think we're good. Two thousand defense is pretty high. Another terraforming. Dang. Well, he can't use that. So one of his cards, Monster Reborn. Oh. Okay, we're gonna dimensional prison this guy. Okay, get him out of here. Hopefully... Okay, sweet. We kept our monster. We can we can bring Jinzo out. That's actually really good. Ooh. That's actually really good. Mm. The Jinzo play. Okay. Battle. Oh, he's a machine too, so he gets all machine type monsters on the field. Ooh, he's getting the buff from that. That's broken. Sweet. I don't know what this. Wait, what does this do? Send this card to the graveyard. Uh, send this card. To... Target one machine type monster in your graveyard. His level is less than or equal to the number of drunk counters. Okay, so it's a revival effect if he can pull that off. So, okay, this duel is looking like it's going to take a little while, so this might be the only duel for this video. A set card. Thankfully, Jinzo prevents those two from being activated. Yo, Pot of Greed. I activate Pot of Greed. This allows me to draw the top two cards of my deck. Ooh. Do we have anything worth monster reborning? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Uh, we're gonna summon the Rocket Warrior. And we're gonna battle. I'm gonna attack with the Jinzo. Hopefully this ain't like anything crazy. Desk bot 2. Nice. He's gonna be able to special summon from the graveyard, but I actually think that is okay. I don't think we're uh, worried about that. We got a Monster Reborn though. That'll be really, really nice. We can get this guy out on the field eventually. Lord of the Red. Yep, he's gonna special summon. Deskbot 3. Luckily, we banished this guy, so he doesn't get this guy back. Very nice. Graceful Charity. Ooh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna Graceful Charity. Bam. What is this? Advanced Ritual Art. This can be used to summon any ritual monster. Send normal monster from your deck to the graveyard. Ooh. That's a really good spell. We're gonna discard this guy. And... Actually, this guy. I think. I think we're gonna do the red eyes. So we only have one red eyes in this. That's kind of unfortunate. We're gonna set this. I know we can't use it because of Jinzo, but I wanna just have it on the field in case something happens to it. We're gonna Monster Reborn our... Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. And then we get to normal summon it a second time. Because we special summoned it. Oh, baby. So, what is. If damage calculation performed involving this card at the end of the battle phase, inflict damage. So, damage calculation. Does that mean. I think we can. I... Okay, so. Mm. I think that means he has to actually battle. So we're gonna, like a battle a monster. So we're gonna attack with him. So that's damage calculation, I believe. And then he'll, at the end of the battle phase, deal 2400. Now oh, we could've just won. Yeah, there we go. 2400, baby. We got our combos. That's good. The perfect top deck for that one. What a great situation. All right. Hey, you did it. You won. Goodbye. It's my fault. Don't be silly, Mai. I caused my own downfall. Thought if I won, I could make you forget about Joey Wheeler. But now I understand why he meant so much to you. Got a good heart. Look what the Orikau- Oh, that is not- Look what the Orikauku's dragged in! My former employee! 
Now it's Miss Valentine's turn to send me assault. Or give up her own. <laughs> How could he do this? Valon's the one who told me to... I have to duel for myself. Then he turns around and fights you pr to protect me? How pathetic. He deserved this. Hold on. Valon may have annoyed me, but no one deserves to have their soul taken away and held captive by some power-hungry psychopath. I don't care who they are. Huh. You know what, Mai? As long as that Orikako thing has control over your mind, I'll never be able to talk sense into you. As a matter of fact, the only way I can save you at this point is to duel you. Try saving yourself. I'm doing just fine without your help. Didn't you learn? If you cramp my style, you'll end in a world of hurt. I understand everything now, Mai. I forgot what... You forgot what Doolin's all about, so I'm here to remind you about the heart of the cards. Gah. If you think you're going to teach me a lesson about duel monsters, you're wasting your time. So yeah, he, uh... Fights... Now, this is where he fights my second time. Exhausted from his last duel with Valon, Joey was unable to finish the duel. Congratul congratulations, you win. Too exhausted to finish. You're wrong. I never attacked, so... You didn't lose the duel. I won't let the Orikalkos take you away. It's too late for that. I already lost the duel, so there's no turning back. I'm just glad that if one of us had to lose our soul, it didn't have to be you, Mai. No. Mai broke free of Darts' influence over her, but Joey's soul is captured by the Orikalkos. How could I be so selfish? You're the closest thing I've had to a friend. By leaving you for a madman? I'll make him regret this day. No way! I don't know what the hell that was. What happened? He lost the duel. Wait, does that mean? Yes, his soul belongs to darts now. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Oops, I didn't mean to skip right ahead. Uh, we need to... Yeah, we're quick. Alright, so that is going to be it for this episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist. Please be sure, if you're enjoying this series, please let me know, leave a like, comment, and of course, if you want more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, subscribe and hit that bell notification for more icons. We'll be back with the next episode to finish off the Seal of Orikakos arc, hopefully get these duels running a lot faster, and be able to get more duels in one episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!